don't see any hunt though from but when I do, I drink hunts. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> I'm just I'm fucking bored today. Hi everybody, Dragonfly here, and I'm gonna teach you how to shiny hunt effectively so you can get Shiny Pokemon. Now, just to clear things up, we are working with Gen 8 odds. So, prior to Gen 6, all odds were over somewhere of 1 in 8,000. And you get a shiny Pokemon like this, where it's basically albinism, where it's... But instead of them lacking pigmentation, their code just gets the pigmentation genetics wrong. So, obviously... For some reason, this Riolu's pigments in its uh, fur was supposed to be blue, but it got it wrong and made it yellow. Science. So, the odds from Gen 6 forward, without any external items like the Shiny Charm, which I don't even think is in this game, is 1 in 4,000 something. Now, that's good odds. In fact, you've pro if you've been watching my uh, playthrough of this game, you've seen that I've, I've actually caught a few accidental shinies where I'm like walking along and then, oh, there's a shiny. And sadly, it's been completely off camera. Oh, excuse me. But I'm gonna teach you how to effectively get your own shinies. Now, to, to be perfectly honest, you very well might be encountering shinies just randomly. If you hear that bring, then there's a shiny in your vicinity, so I recommend stopping everything and just going off to get it because that's like a bolt of golden lightning that just struck, leaving a magical rainbow stone of wishing and happiness. So, get it. But before we start, I want to let you know how to properly get a shiny and what to stock up on because. Just fair warning, no legendaries are shiny. They're all locks or the starters. Not the stars you can find in the space-time distortions, but, you know, you, you can't you can't start off with, like, shiny Rowlet, shiny uh, Cyndaquil, and shiny Oshawa. So, what you want to start off with, if you can see in the bottom right corner, is any of the uh, f feather balls. The feather ball, wing ball, or the jet ball. Now, these are good because you can snipe them from a distance. Now... Obviously, the best way to catch them is to back attack them, and that's... You just don't want to be seen, because this is a lucky, one-of-a-kind Pokémon with a different color scheme, and you want it because it's cool. So you want to hide in the grass like you're a snake, and then just snake eat him, throw it, and you catch the thing, okay? I also recommend getting a few Pokéballs if what you're uh, looking for is particularly aggressive. Which, in itself, can help, because you can also, you know, fight them, and then once it appears, you can then just throw a ball. Especially if you're hunting something aggressive like Shinx or Heracross, I recommend you just fight them. Because then you can be sure you're just, you know, getting the shiny. You fight them, then you can obviously see the shiny with your eyeballs. The way I'm going to show you today is Outbreaks. They have somewhere in a 1 in under 200 chance, I believe. Because Outbreaks spawn about 10 Pokémon, and one of them could be a Shiny. <laughs> Hell, all of them could be a Shiny. I have found two Shiny Bronzor in the in the uh, Cornet Highlands once, and now they're Bronzongs. So, you could very well walk away from one of these with maybe maximum 10 Shinies. They're all going to be the same, but that's still 10 Shinies. So, Feather Ball, a few Ultra Balls, Jet Balls, Wing Balls, and Pokeballs. Once you're stocked up on that, you can head out. But, I should mention that Outbreaks are not always there all the time, like right now. The way you can do this is, you just go into an area, come back from the village. Keep going back, forth, back, forth, until you get an uh, Outbreak. Now, what makes shiny hunting different from this game, well, obviously it's a 3D game, is when hunting in, like, say, Pokemon Black and White 2, or Pokemon Oros, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, if you lose a shiny in that game, it's your fault, or the fault of the shinies, either by battle ending moves or some unforeseen consequence. Here, 
there's still a chance that you can mess up with the shiny. But now there's an added problem. You can get blindsided by a fucking Geodude because it doesn't know when to fuck off. Like, you're just lining up your shot, trying to get that back attack, and all of a sudden you're blindsided by one of these fucks. Look at him. Even when I went hunting for a shiny Geodude and found one, I got, like... I... 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 I, I got to experience what it's like to be the eight ball on a billiards table. Just bang, 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 clattered around by a bunch of balls with arms. Oh, here we go. And it's Badoo. So, just keep in mind, you want... Unless you're fighting something aggressive which encourages battle, I recommend you, you know, stealth it. Because that way you can avoid confrontation with other less desirable and less pleasant Pokémon. <laughs> so what we're so what this is right now is Badu, and what I like to do is I like to fly up with Braviary and circle overhead. If I see the shiny sparkles, which would be hard with Badu, because I think only the interior butt is sparkly. I circle over, I check for a shiny. If it's not there. I check to see if anything is undesirably close. Then I slowly descend, crouch, and hide in the wheat. I check again, throw, throw. Balls don't work at close range. That, that's the odd thing, because, like, you go to throw the wing ball, and you would assume it worked like a regular Pokeball, but no, when you throw it, you apparently hit at the Pokemon's feet. And when you're aiming with a any of the uh, light balls, you want to aim a little b bit w below the Pokemon you're aiming at, because then the wing balls and such fly in an arc, and you want to make sure you get that apex. And as long as you leave one, they're going to continuously spawn. Okay, I think that's all of them, so I'm going to finish up here and try another one. But yeah, that's how you shiny hunt. Shit. There we go. And then report. Oh! Well, perfect timing. I can show you all a new shiny. And just for anyone who's curious about why my Pokemon are named the way they are, I just name them two Japanese words and combine them together. Except for one for which I usually have a personal preference. Like, I always usually name my Lucario's Lelouch. K Kitty. That is rude. Shush cat. Now we can head back. Although, I guess I can also check, because I've caught all the unknown, which can be found in a different video I'm probably going to make. Actually, I can't. 
Because I've, al I've already show I've already caught all of them, so there's no point. Some of them might even be in the videos. But once you catch all the unknown, they start spawning in here. And there's a chance one of them can be shiny. There's a chance one of them can be an apex. I'm just imagining the, the prospect of this room gets filled up and it's just alphabet soup. What the hell? Okay, it was nothing. So while I go on a few random shiny hunts, because I kind of lost time and kind of got distracted, uh, have fun with some bloopers or highlights or whatever of me just doing random shit while shiny hunting. Thank you for watching. I'm still salty about that Vulpix I lost when I first came to Cobalt. But I've since got a shiny one. Okay. So this one will be more obvious because I think Budu's, you know, buds are like the only part of it that's shiny. Oh, they're right there. And there's no grass. Okay, that apparently happens. Sometimes the ball doesn't connect because it just conks them on the head. Can he see me? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, these are aggressives. Oh, you think you're being sassy. Like, seriously, I don't know why that happened. Like, you just randomly just... miss. Fuck off. This is a perfect example. It, I think I should mention that one of the first quests you can get is a quest for an oddly colored ponyta. That sort of introduces you to the concept of shinies. And basically gives you a free shiny ponyta. Which just lessens the value. It's like Red Gyarados. It's like, yeah, it's a shiny, but it's literally the lowest rung on the ladder. Like... Get the evolutions. Those are good shinies. I got one of them. You'll see. Okay, do I see blue flames? Do I see Okumura? No, I do not see Okumura. Crap, they're too far away from a patch of grass. The closest one is this. You did not see me, Spooky Balloons. What the hell? This one's gonna go farther. What? 
I'm sorry, I don't know why that happens. I don't know why you just conk them on the head. You know what? Let's go aggressive. I guess in hindsight it doesn't matter if you battle them or if you chase them away. Also, stay away from berry trees, because whenever you throw a Pokeball, the game thinks you're trying to, you know, throw your Pokemon at it to so you can, you know, bust down the ball or the tree. Somebody that I used to know. Send an owl in a forest. Send an owl in a forest. Send an owl in a forest. Okay, none of them are shiny. <gasps> you didn't see nothing. You little stupid bugs didn't see nothing. Oh, he moved. They were a hit of the moment. Eight six seven five three oh nine eight six seven five three oh nine. <gasps> There's a shiny on screen. Save. Crouch, this is an apex right there. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! You saw it here first! First shiny on screen, it's a ride on! Actually happy about that. Well, I got to see me catch a shiny on screen. Okay, let's go. Let's go for something super effective, like ultra effective. Just, just keep fighting that no, that no door, that no door. Let, let's go. Let's go. For, let's soak the bastard. Let's 
Let's waterboard him. Let's cover him with beer. Yeah, how do you like some beer, Jet? Yeah, how about that? Fish and chips, why don't you? I'll give you some fish and chips. Fish and chips right up the snooze. Yeah, what about that now? Eh? 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 Oh, you like your bourbon on the rocks, eh? 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 So you want some more? You want some more? Oh, some stealthy Manhattans? Yeah? 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 Well, how about I switch out and I'll give you a real taste of what pain feels like? Here's a question for you. Who? Who? Who the fuck do you think you are trying to attack me? Leaf blade his ass! Cut him up like sashimi! Yeah, that's what I thought! Now what? Are you smashing rocks? Let me smash. Well, this bird ain't doing some smashing. He's smashing you! Let me smash. Yeah, catch me outside. How about that? Oh, there's more. No, 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 don't smash that rock! Smash these rocks! Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Make blade and... Here comes the whiskey arrows! Bada bang! Hey, how about that? What are you gonna do? Oh. Oh, you stumbled me. You stumbled me. Oh, that fall ruled of you. Now I'm gonna fuck you up. Well, how's that nose job treating you, Rhyhorn? Yeah, yeah? Not gonna get the laser with that now? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna just take you out and so. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you out and steal a girl. How do you think about that, eh? I'm gonna take you out with the steak dinner, eh? Oh. Well, holy shit, there's more. Yeah, I think we're gonna take Sasha out for the steak dinner. What do you think about that? Eh? 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 Oh, there she is right now. Hey, how about I take your bitch? Okay, leaf blade. Dead. You know what, you're a bitch anyway, I'm gonna kill you. Give me a how about that? It's a double rainbow all the way. Yeah! Yes, it's going down! I got you on the cliffside, I'm pushing you over. What are you gonna fall into? Oh, grass! Goody! My favorite! Die. Commit unalive. Goodbye. Now to see that sweet, sweet tally. Dead B. Thank you all for watching. See you soon.